Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Dignan, and I'm going to be talking to you about how to do a visual approach to evidence-based practice. Now, evidence-based practice is a, at the moment a global phenomena where a number of different people are trying to collect evidence about what works in a number of different areas so that practitioners can really be much more effective in what they're doing. And these are areas such as health or social programs, uh, environmental programs, international development, etc. And the whole idea of this movement is really to accumulate what we know about the evidence about what works and put it into great databases on the internet. We have um, examples of that, for instance, something called the Cochrane Collaboration, perhaps the best example of an evidence-based practice system. And that's where a group of health researchers have got together and accumulated uh, a lot of information about what works and they've gone through the various studies and summarized this information and put that up on the Cochrane Collaboration website. There's another collaboration in social sciences called the Campbell Collaboration, and there's ones in education, international development, environmental areas and conservation, etc. Now the problem is, we've got all this information up on the internet, but how do we actually get practitioners, very busy practitioners, to actually apply the information about what works in their daily practice. And that's where the approach I'm talking about here comes in. Because one thing that we are encouraging practitioners in some areas to use, and one thing that they are using, are these things called program logics or outcomes models. Program logics are simply diagrams, visual diagrams, of what it is that you need to do, the steps that you need to take in order to get through to a higher level outcome for a program or a policy or organization or any intervention. So there is a, a two parallel movements. One is the evidence-based practice accumulation of databases. And at the same time, practitioners are being encouraged in some areas to actually develop models of what it is that they're doing in order to explain exactly what it is they're doing. Now, really what I'm talking about is bringing those two things together and using these visual program logics as the front end for these big databases of research findings. And that's the, the novel aspect of what I'm talking about here. All right, let's see exactly how this could work. Now I'm using here DoView outcomes and evaluation software. And what I've got is a little model here of uh, part of one of these um, program logics. And I am going to uh, look in uh, this particular aspect of it, which is within this program logic model, which is about smoking reduction, we have a box here which talks about a media campaign, and then it's believed because of this link line that this box will lead through to changed attitudes towards smoking uh, and more knowledge about the hazards of smoking. When we're working in this way, we can, for instance, click beneath this link and here we see reference to an article, it happens to be a Cochrane Collaboration article, which summarizes the evidence related to media campaigns and smoking. Equally, we could click to that evidence, and what I've done here is just insert onto the DoView page a, sc a screenshot of the uh, part from the Cochrane Collaboration report, which summarizes the evidence uh, linking mass media interventions to smoking cessation programs. We could also click out to the internet if we like, and here could be a hyperlink out, which would jump us out to the uh, article on the internet, which would show us the detail of this article, which is related to the evidence we have in regard to media campaigns and smoking. So you can see that um, this way of working ensures that uh, practitioners are more likely to be using the evidence from the evidence base because it's fed directly into the models which they're using in their daily practice. And then if we want to spread that evidence base, what we can do is create a web page model uh, of the evidence base model which we've constructed, put that up onto the, evidence, or onto the internet, um, and then practitioners of various types can take that model, download it onto their own computers, and they can then amend it in the way which relates to the particular program they're running, so there can be adjustments for local circumstances. But we can be assured if this sort of approach is used that the basic logic model they're starting from is one which is really well informed with evidence. So it's not everybody in different locations around the world 
reinventing the wheel in regard to the way they're set up. I hope that this discussion of a way of linking visual program logic models with evidence-based databases has helped advance your thinking about evidence-based practice. Thank you very much.